Why should a mobile developer go with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript over something else? Um, well, primarily just because it's a skill set that a lot of people tend to already have, um, and JavaScript is becoming sort of like a ubiquitous programming language that's showing up in a lot of different places. You know, a lot of, a lot of different platforms are using JavaScript at as at least an option as one of the development languages you can use. Um, and everybody, like I said, everybody knows a little bit of JavaScript, it seems. Mm -hmm. So um, it's good to use those types of tools, and they're based on you know open standards and and have a lot of technology infrastructure built around it. So. Now, now, is it easier to iterate with those tools? Is it, is it a more agile process than, than something like Objective-C, for example? Uh, I would certainly argue it is. Um, they, I, I suppose they're you know, native developers that can be really productive using those uh, programming languages, but a uh, dynamic language like JavaScript is, you know, j tends to be less verbose. Um, and for people, especially people that are already uh, seasoned web developers, they, they tend to have a skill set that they're already very productive in that programming language and they have a, you know, a set of tools that they like to use. So um, depending on the type of developer you are, it certainly is. And if you're targeting multiple platforms from your uh, tool set, then it's definitely more productive because you can write you know, one, a single code base that's going to support multiple platforms. So. Now, uh, speaking of multiple platforms, do you think that it's a risk for developers to only throw their weight behind one platform? Uh, I I think it I think it is I mean if, uh, when you have platforms like iPhone and you know Android they're they're behemoths and they're obviously not going to be going anywhere for a long time I don't know that it's a risk uh, but you're certainly you know you're limiting your application to that audience certainly that there, there's just fewer people that can download and use your application or pay you for your application uh, by only choosing a single platform and uh, you know developing for each of those platforms individually you know, doubles your development costs, or triples them, or however many mm -hmm. platforms you'd like to support. So, as a, from a developer's perspective, what do you feel is the biggest issue with the App Store, Apple's App Store? Is it the approval process? Is that where, where the biggest pain point comes from? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's it's unfortunate that there's a uh, buffer between application developers and the, and their users. Um, there's there's you know a bit of a lag time when you submit an application. Um, so if you if there's a bug that your users have discovered, there's a little bit extra time before you can address that and keep your users happy. So I think that's unfortunate. I think it's also unfortunate that uh, certain content doesn't make it past um, the screening of the App Store. Um, so yeah, I mean it, there's there it just kind of as a user of my of you know an iPhone device. It's you know almost as if you don't own the device. You can you're almost kind of renting it, and somebody else is sort of telling you what you can and can't do with it. So it's more like a cable box that you get from you know your you know from Comcast rather sure. than you know a computer or a laptop that you would buy and you know use how you would like to use it. So, so last question I have for you: What? How about on the on the Android market side? What's the biggest issue there? Um, <laughs> pro probably I guess it's on the other extreme. I mean, that some people might describe it as sort of the Wild West. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of applications out there that do. Various things, but I mean, I don't know. I, I I think that you know the Android market is certainly you know gaining steam, and there's more apps available. I think like from a consumer perspective, um, you might you might feel that there are fewer uh, quality application options available there. But um, I think I feel like that's going to change and pretty quickly. So great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it. Yep. No problem.